YouTubers and fellow hams. A while back I had the opportunity to work on a, a Henry Tempo 1. It's an old tube rig. And uh, while I was working on it, I uh, sort of chuckled at the fact that there were five relays inside the radio that switched circuitry around when you went from transmit to receive. And uh, modern radios don't use a lot of relays to do that. They do it with switching diodes and signal steering diodes. And I was aware of that and I kind of knew how it worked, but I decided to delve into it last night and really research it and get my mind completely around how you use diodes to steer signals. And it was so interesting to me that I thought that that would be a good subject for a video. So that's what we're going to talk about today. So a diode is like a one-way valve, if you think about plumbing. Uh, current can flow in one direction, but not in the other direction. So quite often they're just used as rectifiers in power supplies, converting AC to DC, or as detectors in AM radios and other radios to rectify the modulated audio off of the RF carrier. But they have another property that's very interesting. So a diode junction doesn't turn on and conduct electricity until it reaches about 0.6 to 0.7 volts. It starts to turn on at 0.6 volts and by the time you get to 0.7 volts across the diode the junction turns on and it conducts electricity almost like a wire. Uh, so what you can do to pass a signal through a diode is you can ride that signal on the back of that voltage. Um, so let's say that you have a 0.5 volt AC signal. That's 0.5 volts peak to peak. So it's going positive uh, 0.25 volts and it's swinging negative 0.25 volts. If you feed that signal into a diode, it's not going to get through because its positive peak is only 0.25 volts. It doesn't reach the necessary 0.7 volts to get through the diode. Now let's say that you put uh, a voltage across that diode, 1 volt or 5 volts, uh, some kind of a voltage, a bias voltage. That voltage is going to turn that diode on. Now, if you send a signal into that diode, that 5 volt peak to peak signal is going to ride on top of that 5 volt bias voltage. So that voltage will swing from 5.25 to 4.75 volts as it's added to and subtracted uh, from by the signal coming into it. And even that 4.75 volts is still high enough to not turn off the diode. The diode's going to remain on and our signal is going to piggyback right through the diode. So you can use diodes to switch signals on and off by simply biasing a diode on or off. Let's take a look at the uh, schematic for my Yezu FT817 and uh, I'll show you how they use diodes to switch signals. And then we'll go down to the bench and I'll show you a little circuit that I put together to demonstrate it in, in a simpler fashion. Okay, so this is the schematic for the Azu FT817. I know it all looks like Greek to a lot of you, but uh, bear with me. These are the filters here, and that's a section of it that I chose because that's a good area where signals get switched often. And you see these symbols here, this D1076 and D1075, where it looks like just two diodes coming in and going out? These are our switches, our signal switches. So the signal comes in here, but what's, what's also here is 5 volts. If I trace this trace back, I will find a point where there's a resistor and a 5 volt supply. So we've got 5 volts coming in here to the, uh, to the diodes. And then you've got some circuitry. But if I trace these paths, you see these two resistors and this resistor, and I trace that wire down, I see this. And this is a transistor switch. This signal here comes from the processor. So when I set, in this case, AM mode, it turns on this transistor, which then becomes a path to ground. So when that transistor gets turned on, this diode here sees ground at this point and you have 5 volts and ground, you have voltage across this diode. And once you have voltage across this diode, 
it turns on and the signal that's present here also rides through the diode piggybacking on that 5 volts and then goes through the circuitry. So that's how a diode switch works. If that transistor down there turns off, then there is not ground here and this diode turns off. And then if the other transistor down there that this lead goes to turns on, then there's ground here and this diode turns on and our incoming signal then follows through this diode and gets processed by whatever circuitry needs to process it. So these are our diode switches and that's how they work. So here we are down at the bench and this is the circuit that I put together to demonstrate diode steering for signals. So it's an Arduino with a couple of the digital I.O. pins being used. We've got a 7805 regulator and a filter capacitor bringing 5 volts into the Arduino. And then over here are our steering diodes. I have a 1 kilohertz audio signal coming in coupled to a capacitor to the diodes. I have a 100K resistor here to uh, limit current through the diodes. Um, our audio signal comes in and as long as these diodes are not biased on it cannot get through. Now at the output of each diode I have a resistor that's quite large, it's about 2 meg, going to one of the digital pins. And then the cap there's capacitors coupling from here to the output which is going to an amplified set of stereo speakers. Now I wrote an Arduino sketch that simply alternates these two pins. This pin high, this pin low for one second and then switches them, this pin high and that pin, this pin low and that pin high for one second. So they alternate between high and low, high and low, high and low, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So when, one, when this pin goes high, 5 volts, we have 5 volts on this side of the diode and 5 volts on this side of the diode and it does not turn on and our signal is blocked, it does not come through. If this pin goes low, uh, 0 volts, then we have 0 volts on this side of the diode, 5 volts on this side of the diode and the diode turns on and begins to conduct and our signal rides on through. So for example, here is 0 volts, here is 5 volts. Our audio signal is about uh, 1 volt peak to peak which means that the positive swing here is 0.5 volts okay pull this over so you can see it so when the diode is, is uh, not turned on there's 5 volts on either side and it blocks the signal that 5 volts or 0.5 volts of uh, positive swing on our audio signal is not enough of a difference to turn the diode on and the signal is blocked. Now when we turn the diode on and the signal comes through what you end up with is here on our on our uh, 5 volt 0 volt okay what you end up with here is you end up with well that doesn't work very well did it our signal riding piggyback on top of that 5 volt rail. So it's swinging from uh, 5.5 volts to 4.5 volts because our audio signal is riding on there and it's piggybacked on that 5 volt rail. So as the peak comes through it adds half a volt to our uh, rail and as the valley comes through the negative 0.5 volts it subtracts half a volt so we end up with our audio signal piggybacked on this 5 volt rail and a variance of 1 volt above and below 5 volts and since our lowest point is still 4.5 volts we're not turning the diode off and that signal is just riding through the diode so that's how diode steering works now let me power up the Arduino here hold on I'll show you the uh, breadboard. It's a mess, but you know, I just hacked it together. Okay. So I've got an audio signal coming in through this pot so I could adjust its value uh, to get it exactly uh, one volt peak to peak. 
and then it's coupled to the capacitor here and right down here hopefully you can see that are the two signal diodes here so our signal comes in through this capacitor here's the 100k resistor that's bringing 5 volts into the diodes and then here's our two resistors on the outputs of the diodes that are going to individual digital pins on the Arduino and our two output coupling capacitors that are going to this little eighth inch audio jack and that runs off to a set of amplified computer speakers one over there and one over there and I've got the camera set right between the two I'm gonna show you the oscilloscope here this is our input signal and as you can see peak to peak value is one volt so that's our input signal now I'm gonna turn on power there, you can see the whole setup and the camera is right between the speakers so hopefully you can hear the alternate so here we go So can you hear that? Oops, I got a bad connection somewhere. There we go. Ah. Alright, there we go. As the Arduino is toggling those two pins, our audio signal is being steered to right, to left, to right, to left, through the diodes. Pretty neat, isn't it? So there you go. That's how diodes can be used in place of relays to rewire the circuitry in a radio as you switch between transmit and receive, or to switch options in and out like different filters. Diodes can be used to switch signals to different paths, to reconfigure circuitry, to uh, alter other signal paths and make a uh, particular circuit do dual duty. For example, an IF amplifier uh, could be switched around and reconfigured electronically to become uh, a balanced modulator or a mixer for transmit. So uh, I hope you found this interesting and uh, helpful. And uh, as always, thanks for watching. If you like the video, give me a big thumbs up and uh, share the video. It helps me out. 73.